Before commencing any service or repair on an air conditioning system, check with your local authorities as to any licensing requirements needed. Some refrigerants are controlled substances. Follow all guidelines set by these governing bodies. Hi, I'm Clint. Welcome to Automate. A vehicle's air conditioning system can be divided into the high pressure and low pressure side. Let's take a closer look at the low pressure side. Refrigerant is compressed and passed through a condenser, receiver dryer filter, before reaching a flow control device. This device may be a thermal expansion valve or fixed orifice tube. The purpose of the thermal expansion valve is twofold. It must control the flow of refrigerant in the system and ensure a complete change of state of the refrigerant. Flow control is handled by a simple temperature or pressure sensing bulb operating a needle valve, while the change of state is achieved through the rapid expansion of refrigerant through a metering port. The two most common types of TX valve today are the capillary tube and the block valve. This type of valve controls the flow of refrigerant using opposing pressures. This is a sample of the hundreds of training videos we have available, covering everything from technical fundamentals, diagnostic procedures, equipment and wiring diagrams. Automate is simply the best training available. So why not join us today? Start training and be the best technician you can be.